If you're running ads to get clients on social media and your ads are not converting to get leads to become clients, I'm gonna break down the possible reasons why in this video. Hey, Lee Constance New here, the founder of Personal Trainers Elite. And what I'm gonna break down in this video is the possible reasons why your ads aren't converting. It's a problem that a lot of people blame, right? Their ads not working, but when it's actually some other factors which are causing your ads not to work. The first reason, the main thing that I would say is why your ads aren't working is probably because you're not tracking your numbers. Peter Drucker once said, what gets measured gets managed. So if you aren't measuring the success of your ads and you don't know your numbers, then how do you even know if your ads aren't working? Or how do you even know if it's the ad itself and not something else in the process? And so my first question to you is, do you know your numbers and are you tracking your numbers every day? Because it's no joke to be spending money on ads, right? And so surely you wanna be tracking them to know if they are actually effective and they are working. So there's a few key numbers that you should be looking at when you're tracking your ad numbers. The first one, we'll start from the ad level, is the link click-through rate, the CTR. And this is the percent of people that have clicked on your ad to go through to your landing page or wherever you're sending people. And you would typically wanna strive for a 0.5% minimum bare minimum, probably around a 1% in the fitness industry, two or 3%. And if you're getting clicks for around that percent range, that means the ad is effectively performing fairly well, fairly well inside the kind of industry standards. And that's the first number you wanna look at. The second number is your cost per lead. How much does it cost you to get somebody to give you their name, email, and information? That number will be based on how many people come to your landing page or wherever you're sending them and give you their contact information. Now, something to keep in mind, this part of the process isn't directly related to the ad. It's related to the effectiveness of your landing page. Now, saying that, the ad copy and the message will influence if people even want to give you their contact information. And so you have to look at not just the landing page, but the ad copy. Does it resonate with people to want them to click to give you their information? And then the third number you wanna look at is the cost per call, right? Or how many, how much does it cost you to get somebody to book a call with you, right? Because then that means that they've gone through the entire process. And then final one, um, or the second to last one, is your cost per attendance, cost per show up. How many people actually show up for the call? Because then that's gonna tell you how much it actually costs to get somebody on a phone. And then the final one, which is the most important one, is your ROI, your return on investment, or ROAS, return on ad spend, ROAS. And so these are the metrics that you need to be measuring and keeping in line with to know if your ads are working. And as I said, if you're getting a half a percent minimum, 1% click-through rate from your ad to your landing page, that means your ad is effectively working. Now, if 25% of people as a minimum opt in and become a lead, that means your landing page is effectively working. That means you don't have a problem with your ad effectively, right? In essence, if everything else is looking good. And so then you have to look at the deeper numbers. And so just talking specifically about your ads, you need to know your numbers. Because if you don't know the numbers I've just told you and you're running ads, then you don't even know if your ads are the problem. It might be something else, which leads me onto my second point, which is your sales process, your follow-up process. What happens after somebody becomes a lead? Because a lot of the time people run ads thinking that they're just gonna run these ads and then people will become clients. No, there's a follow-up process that needs to happen for the people that don't book in for a call immediately. Because you're gonna have a large percentage of people who become a lead and just end up sitting on your email list and doing nothing. And so what does your follow-up process look like? Do you have any automated follow-up processes for those leads to nurture them, to build trust, to build value, to make them want to become a client. And we actually teach this in fine detail inside the PT Academy. We actually provide all of those follow-up automations and emails and the software and the platform to do all of that. There's a link in the description if you wanna kind of have a look and see how that works. But you need to have a follow-up process in place if you want to be effective in taking somebody from a stranger or becoming a lead to becoming a client. If you're hoping for one email and one chance to get somebody booked in, you're gonna spend a lot of money and you're gonna be very disappointed. You need to be relentless on your follow-up. You need to be emailing every day. You need to have text message automations. You need to have everything dialed in so that when somebody's showing their interest and it's hot, you need to strike while the iron is hot to get them to go through your next process, which is getting onto a call so you can sign them up. And if you're worried about upsetting anybody, bothering them, advertising is no place for you because you need to be on somebody. They're so, 
many distractions now. People are being advertised in different angles, different directions, and their attention span is so short. We need to stay on top of them until we actually get them to do what they've intended to do, which is talk about their problems and their health and their fitness. And so your follow-up is key in deciding if your ad is effectively working. But now that you know that you need to be tracking your ads, you need to have a refined sales process, you have to know if this funnel, this process has been proven. Because if you're just testing something that you think is going to work, rather than it being something that has been proven and is working for other people, then you are gonna be spending a lot of money testing to figure this out for yourself. And so the fast track version is of course, find something that's tested and proven and get help and support around that proven process to give you the highest chance of success. Because if you're just throwing some random ads out there that you have no idea, if you're sending them to a random website that you haven't proven and tested and you don't know if it actually works, then again, you're gonna spend a lot of money trying to figure that out for yourself. So it rather makes sense to follow a proven process, one that is already getting people leads and clients booked in, rather than figuring out for yourself, unless you've got unlimited amounts of budget, that's totally cool. So you have to decide, am I willing to test this for myself and get this to work, or would I rather have a proven process that's ready to go so that I know I'm guaranteed to get leads and get potential clients booked in? Very important thing to know. And let me tell you one last thing. If you are just hitting the boost button and boosting your ads on Instagram or Facebook, and you're just boosting and paying a little bit of money for them to reach more people, that's not advertising, right? That is hopium marketing where you're giving them a few selections and saying, hey, show this to more people, but you cannot measure this, the success of them from inside the Instagram platform. You cannot see the numbers that I mentioned, the, the click-through rate, cost per lead, the, the calls. You can't see all those numbers from inside the, the platform itself. You need to be running ads through, through the business manager, which is Facebook, which connects to your Instagram. And you can go on business.facebook.com to do that if you're not already doing that, because you can actually connect your Instagram to your Facebook and so you can run ads and see all the numbers that I've mentioned. Because if you don't know your numbers, you're not, going to want to, you're not going to know what's actually working. Because your ads might be working perfectly fine, but you might just suck at the sales call, right? That might be the, that might be the harsh truth that you're getting on calls and you're not signing up at least 25% of people. Because if you're having, if you're not signing up, you know, two in 10 people, right? If you're not getting a decent close rate, then that means the ad isn't the problem because people are quick to blame things that it feels like they can, easier to blame. It's hard to look in the mirror and blame yourself for something that you can control. And it's a thing that you might need some coaching or you might need some, a better process around. And so before you go quickly blaming the ad, if the ad is effectively working based on the KPIs and the metrics and the, and the numbers that you are striving for, look deeper into the process. Look how many people are showing up for a call. Look at your sign up rate because there's some truths that might be learned when you actually start looking at the numbers rather than making those emotional decisions based on how you feel rather than what the numbers are telling you. And the numbers will never ever lie to you. So I hope that helps. I hope this makes sense. If you'd like some help around your ads and scaling up your fitness business running ads, I spend thousands of pounds every month to spend over six figures on ads myself. Um, and we actually coach trainers on how to do this and we provide weekly over the shoulder coaching inside the PT Academy. If you'd like some help with that, go ahead and DM me on Instagram saying YouTube and I'll talk you through what that looks like and how we actually support you with your ads so that you can be more profitable and more effective with them. Otherwise, just like this video so I know to create more content like this and subscribe to the channel. And as always, I'll see you soon.